welcome back to another Gregorius Maths video. Today we'll be solving i to the 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 i to And we'll call it x. Because there are infinitely many i's, this is the same as saying i to the x equals x. Okay, because this whole bit here is the same as the whole thing. Because there are an infinite amount of i's. And soon we'll have to utilise the Lambert W function. So first we will bring this x to the front by doing the natural log of both sides. The natural log of a to the power of b equals b times the natural log of a. Okay? Basically we can bring the power to the front. So when we do the natural log of i to the power of x, we get x times the natural log of i equals the natural log of x. So what's the natural log of i? Well, if we're on the imaginary axis and the real axis, then, say we have a point here, this distance from the origin is called r, this angle here is called theta, and we can utilise these two facts, if we know both of these two things, we can say that this point here equals r times e to the power of i theta. So the distance times e to the power of i times the angle. So, if we're talking about, if we're talking about i, imaginary real well i is somewhere along the imaginary axis and well the distance from the origin is just one because it's one i the angle here is pi over two because it's just a right angle so this is one times e to the power of i pi over two Okay, so to take the natural log of this, it's the same as the natural log of 1 plus the natural log of e to the power of i pi over 2. And now hopefully you can see where this is going. Natural log of 1 is just 0. Plus, well, the ln and the e will just cancel. So we're left with i pi over 2. So what this, what we're saying is, x times i pi over 2 equals the natural log of x. Okay? So to, to get all of the x's on one side, we'll multiply both sides by x to the power of negative 1, or 1 over x, which is, the, so this is the same as saying, i pi over 2 equals x to the power of negative 1, not negative, right, negative 1, x to the power of negative 1 times the natural log of x okay and now I have to introduce the Lambert W function okay so say we have some f of x being equal to x times e to the power of x okay then the Lambert W function of x equals the inverse function of x frick which is the same saying that the Lambert W function of f of x just equals x so if we can get this some x times e to the power of x then we can use the Lambert W function to isolate the x this will be important Okay, so what can we do here? Well, to get this e, which we need, we can rewrite x to the power of negative 1 as, well, okay, so x to the power of negative 1 equals e to the power of ln x to the negative 1. Okay, why? Because the e and the ln will cancel. But using the natural log property, we can bring this negative 1 to the front, which is 
So this is the same saying. E to the power of L negative ln of x. Okay, so this is the same as saying e to the power of negative ln of x. So ln x times e, we've got this x times e to the power of negative ln x. So we've got x times e to the power of negative x, but this is an easy fix. Okay, right, so this is times, this is just a dot. So it's positive, positive, negative. But this is an easy fix. To get this x to be negative, or this ln x to be negative, just multiply both sides by negative one. So negative i pi over two equals negative ln x times e to the power of negative ln x. Okay, and now we're ready to use the Lambert W function. So, the Lambert W function of i pi negative <coughs> i pi over 2 equals negative ln of x. Okay, because what we've done here is we've Utilise the Lambert W function to isolate this negative ln of x. So now we just have to do some simple algebra. First, multiply both sides by negative 1. So the negative Lambert W function of negative i pi over 2 equals positive ln of x. And now raise both sides to the power, so do e to the power of both sides, because if we do e to the power of this, e to the power of that, that, that will cancel. So, e to the power of the, lam the negative Lambert W function of negative i pi over 2 equals x. And if we trace back, that's what we were trying to solve for originally. Uh, yeah, that's it. So, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you learned something new about the Lambert W function and its applications and yeah I'll see you guys in the next video bye